Hey everybody, Schneider here. It's time to answer more Duke's questions. Okay, here's the, uh, the interesting one that comes up, which means you've never actually tried it. Did we use real dynamite on the dynamite arrows when we shot dynamite arrows on the show? Well, I'll tell you, if you come to Bo's Extravaganza, we use, uh, we put a little firecracker on the end of an arrow and try to tape it well, try to tape two of them on there, because as soon as you put weight on one side of an arrow, it'll it'll make it fly almost in a circle. So it's not good. Um, so on Dukes, what we did is we had to, we had to tape the piece of balsa wood to the left hand side of the arrow so that uh, it wouldn't get in the way. Of you know when you hold a when you hold an arrow, the bow is right there. So when you when you draw the arrow back, you draw the string back. The round part actually st hits the stock of the bow, which is no good because then you'll you'll let go and you'll break the arrow. There's a lot of power there. So all we we did is we took my bow when I blew up the outhouse, and we took it and we put it to uh, adjusted it down to like 20 pounds, like nothing, like purr, purr. Just so that I could do it. And even so, these were wooden arrows. I believe they were wooden arrows back then. They might've been aluminum shaft. But when I let the arrow fly, the weight of the front was so heavy and the speed of the back was so uh, fast that the arrow actually bent. So, there was no way you could actually do that unless you could put the uh, arrow right through the center of a, of a stick of dynamite. But even then, you know, the arrow is aimed straight when you put that round thing on it and it's going to go like that. So it just doesn't work. A lot of the times uh, they would just throw the arrow. I know. Breaks your heart. Bless you. And in, um, in uh, one of the first episodes, uh, um, Daisy's song, when we actually shot the arrows toward the bad guys at the barn, they were on a um, piece of fishing wire with little grommets on the top and slid down like a, like a uh, uh, laundry line, like a clothesline. So watch that and then one time we actually put the arrow in there and pulled it out and then showed the picture show the movie backwards tricks movie tricks okay uh somebody else said did we actually drive the general lee yes absolutely without question tom kathy and i all drove the general lee uh we did not however jump them uh that was al wyatt and, and uh, uh gary baxley and craig baxley and jack gill and john Cade and Russ Solberg and Jerry Summers um, and uh, and Corey Eubanks, uh, all those folks jumped the General Lee. We did not ever jump the General Lee until Bo's Extravaganza last year, where I actually jumped the General Lee, and you can see that in the movie Christmas Cars, or you can look at it right here. There's a, a, a cool inside shot of me jumping the General Lee. It was a lot of fun. Um, so did a lot of the driving. Uh, and it is true that one day I was showing off to Tom after we'd come back from our strike and I was saying, you know, this is how you throw a 90. And I was in a brand new, fancy, fancy, fancy General Lee. And uh, I was throwing 90s and I wanted to get the ass end of the car around a little bit further. Uh, and I got a little bit too far. Once you get past 90, you're, you're into, uh, you've got inertia and all kinds of things that don't work in your favor. And uh, I actually ran the rear end of the car into the only solid building on the back lot at what was then the Burbank Studios. Now, again, it's Warner Brothers. Um, <clears throat> and I had to tell the transportation coordinator, Hank Nessel, I believe was, Hank, Hank was in Georgia, I'm not sure. You know, it's been so long, forgive me. Uh, but you can bet that uh, that Tommy had to fix it. Tommy had to fix not not Wopat. Uh, that, that we had to get that car fixed. Um, 
there was another question and then that's that's it for now um we felt uh it was it was an odd experience coming on the set and uh having coy and vance say hello and goodbye so quickly in fact that's why we kind of make uh, make a joke of it. Byron was in Christmas Cars. Byron is also in Stand On It, and uh, we make a joke. Look out, baby. We make we make a uh, a joke about how he's got to go help Uncle Elbert again. Um, but it wasn't it, it it was odd just because it was so quick, especially in light of the fact that I I knew Byron before I knew Tom Wopat. I knew Byron back in Georgia. Uh, in fact, when we decided we weren't coming back, the first person I told the casting folks at Warner Brothers they needed to talk to about replacing Bo was Byron Cherry. So uh, he and I had been friends and still are friends for now, gosh, 45, 45 years, a long, long time. Anyway, there you go. Dukes of Hazard questions answered. Uh, keep them coming. I appreciate them, and I hope you like this. If you did, then please subscribe. Tell a friend or 12 to do the same, and I will see you down the road. And by the way, we showed up here in the Jenny Lee. Maybe I can show you. Hang on. Let me see. See if I can show you this. Jenny Lee is Alicia's car. And uh, then I'll end the video, okay? I think it's one of the coolest things ever. And somebody just said, oh, I saw that car the other day in Baton Rouge. So there she is. I think you've seen her before. Right there. The Jenny Lee. I'm John Schneider. Yeehaw! Please subscribe. Bye.